Good morning all, Methods Trombones. Uh, this lesson video will be about the harmonic series uh, on trombone. Really all, all harmonic series are the same, I just want to kind of illustrate the tendencies and what we have to do uh, on our trombone to play in tune. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm self-conscious about this is my little practice office and it is really the only room in my home honestly that has taxidermy that's a little bit uh, uh, peculiar. That is a state record smallmouth bass caught in the uh, Shenandoah River, the North Fork of the Shenandoah River. And then over here I have some, any, I'm sorry, um, in case you were wondering. Uh, so I've uploaded on Canvas on this page the harmonic series, basically everything you need to know. And I can't, I don't think you can see it here because it's flipped because of the way, I didn't know how else to do this. So I'm just going to walk you through it. As we mentioned earlier, the trombone is, uh, is a B-flat, non-transposing instrument, meaning that our fundamental, the open note, the home bass note, I'm not going to put my glasses on, is in B-flat. <coughs> F. <coughs> the lowest fundamental note that we can play on the instrument, open. The lowest note. That's a pedal B-flat. That's actually over here. That's an open note. That's the fundamental series. Everything is, is built on that. So um, that is the first note in our harmonic series. Partial, one, B flat. The next note, as you know, above that in first position is an octave higher, B flat. <laughs> Slurring between the two is, I was just practicing, but anyway, it's challenging. So there's, the, there's your low B flat. So which note do you tune to? Interestingly enough, I see many, many band directors going around tuning to an F. That note is not in tune on our instrument all the way in first position. The B flat is. So you want to tune your best sound on a B flat. And unfortunately, it's not the low B flat, it's not the pedal B flat, it's the partial up here, it's the fourth partial, which is the B flat. That's our tuning note, right? Um, but I see trombone uh, or band directors tuning to the concert F, which is the third partial, and that's traditionally very, very high on the instrument. So uh, you'll see in your notes, tuning tendency in blue, those are the arrows that are pointing up or down. That's if you played the, the note all the way in, as far as you can go in first position, that's the tendency or the trend of the note. So for example, B flat's in tune, that's a zero in blue. The next note, B flat, that's our fundamental, also in tune, that's a zero. The next note, if I were to have the B flat perfectly in tune and I play an F, that note sounds on the instrument sharp all the way in first position. So blue arrow indicates the tendency, the green arrow indicates what I have to do to fix it. So I'm going to bring the F down. Making these little adjustments every time I go through the partials? Yes, I am trying to do that. Now, wicked slurs and super fast um, uh, passages, maybe I'm not, you know, I, it's like there's not just seven positions, there's kind of an infinite number of positions, and I'm aware of where they are, just basically uh, through muscle memory. So when you play lip slurs in your band program, have the trombones make an adjustment. Now, we're talking a, just a millimeter or two. <laughs> That's fine. And you should teach this seventh, eighth grade. They should they should know that these that these uh, tuning tendencies exist. So B flat third uh, fourth partial the fifth partial D above that generally sounds a little low. Crow. I think on the fat on the. Uh, you're on the high side of it a little bit, it seems to be a little low in most cases. Some instruments it may be more closer to in tune. Um, it really is a manufacturer thing, but, but traditionally it sounds um, a little low. I have to bring it up. The high D, which you'll never see uh, for many years uh, in your band programs, maybe advanced solos, uh, we, it comes across in Zarathustra, it comes across... Um, uh, May Brahms, uh, two, uh, we, we, of course you wouldn't play that on tenor, sometimes you would, sometimes you wouldn't, but that note tends to be, you have to really think high. It's just, 
bring it up. All right, above that, the fifth partial, that was the fifth partial, the sixth partial is our F, octave above middle F. <laughs> extremely sharp sounds very very high we have to really crack the slide now on all these partials you understand you follow that tendency all the way down make sense so let's just take for example B flat to an F to keep the armature basically still. There's an activity but not big chewing. Um, and then of course above the F we have uh, the false partial, right, which is the seventh partial. We call it a false partial because in that position, first posi I mean it exists, it's there, it's real, we play notes in that partial but not all the way in first position because it's not, it's so um, incredibly flat that that note doesn't exist, right? Technically, that's an A flat. It's so unbelievably out of tune. We have to go to the next partial above and bring it down. It's, it's almost a it's it, it's atrocious. You can't play that note. That's an A flat, false partial, seventh partial. Uh, that doesn't exist. So, what note is the what is the then what is the first note we can play in that partial? Well, if it's A flat, it's out of tune. A flat. We have to go down to the next note, concert G, a half step away. But remember, because that is so incredibly low, right, we have to really bring that note up. Not of note in first position, but because it's a high G, we're playing a high G, it sounds very, very low. We're playing in a sharp second position. Okay. The note below that, F sharp or G flat, it would normally be in third, but we're playing in a sharp third because of that partial. Again, this is just in relation to the seventh partial, false partial. And then of course the eighth partial is the octave. That's in tune, zero, should be right on the money. All right, I hope I have not confused you. Um, why is this important? Because when you're getting around the instrument, there are so many different second positions, so many different third positions. If I were to play um, a descending, well, let's just say maybe let's just go from a, um, a uh, let's go like let's do E natural. So the F sharp because it's on that false partial is in sharp third. The E natural, which is already very very high sounding, and we have to bring down. So the difference between an E natural and an F sharp is just like like microscopic. They're very close together. The F sharp, so an E flat would be way out here in flat third. The F sharp would be up here in sharp third. I feel like I've utterly confused you, but the thing to remember, the home bass notes, you carry those, obviously those tuning tendencies down the slide within the respective partials in the harmonic series. And then just be, be cognizant of that as you go through the partials, what you're doing. So you can model that. Great trombone teachers will model that. In your lip slurs, in your Remington exercises, in your four or five note slurs, make sure that the kids are making adjustments. That's the exercise I would practice. And work on that and build on it. And then it becomes just innate. They're not even thinking about it, but they're barely moving the slide. Okay, great. More to come.